Born in New York, Rusty's family moved to Milton, Massachusetts when she was eight months old and took up residence on Warren Avenue, which later became Rusty's namesake. Rusty began dating at a very young age and was quick in learning her nursery rhymes. One of her favorites was Jack and Jill went up the hill. They each had a dollar and a quarter. Jill came down with two and a half. They didn't go up for water. <laughs> Rusty continued her education, finishing grade school and high school, and still found time for boys and beaches. Actually, it all began with a young man in his day. He was a rabbi who performed the wedding ceremony for his grandson, Herbert Goldman, a young sailor, to very pretty young Nellie Kravitz. You know, Herb's mom and dad were overjoyed over the match and they gave the young couple their blessings. Herb and Nellie wanted to have a family, but Herb spent long periods of time at sea and left Nellie alone a lot, so they decided they would adopt a child. Off they went to the Jewish orphan's home in Brooklyn, New York, where they found a cute little towhead whom they called Eileen. That's me, Reba, my real name is Eileen. <laughs> Wasn't I adorable? I mean, really, everyone has a picture like this at all. Mother said I was a very bright child, and it was during my early toilet training that she taught me to read. Would you believe the original Rusty Warren probably came out of half these little nursery rhymes that my mother told me. I started dating at a very young age, but I didn't go steady till I was four. That's when I decided to ask my dad some questions. Like, where did I come from? And he told me that one day he stopped into a Chinese laundry to pick up some shirts. <laughs> He saw this little girl sitting in the corner crying. He looked at her and he smiled. She stopped crying and she smiled. So he decided to take her home with him. Reba, would you believe for years I really thought I came from a Chinese laundry? Well, at least it's a clean start anyway. My first big romance was when I met Bobby Keezer on the beach. He just wanted to keep burying me in the sand, so I guess we broke it up. Then I joined the Girl Scouts because they promised actually to let me carry the flag. The next few years were spent finishing up grade school and high school and trying to make up my mind what I wanted to do. I decided to go to the New England Conservatory of Music where I received a scholarship and where I majored in singing, believe it or not, and of course, the piano. The highlight of my college career was when Teddy Schwartz, captain of the basketball team, asked me to go to the senior dance. You've got to have a picture like this in your album, I'm sure. I graduated with high honors and mother decided that it was a beautiful time. Home with Rusty. I think this is sort of a, a cute idea because actually when I first decided to settle down it was in Scottsdale, Arizona where it's absolutely beautiful as we all know that live, people that live here. I live in a lovely big house with a swimming pool home by me in the bank like everyone else. I call it the house that Knock was built because all the albums gave me to afford this. I live alone except for here it is. That's my faithful companion still alive and still kicking. And I've heard that all work and no play makes rusty rusty. So I've actually developed an interest in many sports and hobbies. I fish, I won the women's division on that in Fort Lauderdale. I enjoy flying a lot and of course I play tennis. And I ride my horse Fanny. This is one of my Morgan uh, pleasure horses. She's in, been pregnant and I've got her at a breeding farm now in the Midwest. And I made many more albums than the 10 that you already see. I still continue and have played dates at the Coper in New York where we do standing room only crowds. God bless them, they are still there and they are still piling in. And even at the Latin Quarter in New York, which is not recent, it's a couple of years ago that I performed there and it's no more. And then of course on to Las Vegas where I've been playing the strip, that's the international previous to becoming the Hilton. And what a thrill to be on the same bill with Pearl Bailey and Wayne Cochran and everyone else. And of course some of the biggest names in show business are playing Las Vegas. You'll recognize I worked at the Aladdin for years before I went over to the Flamingo and to the International. This is Phyllis Diller, of course, that you recognize. That's one of her recent photos. She keeps uh, sending me all kinds of crazy stuff. She's in, not, we've been friends a long time. And of course, here's Ed Sullivan, God bless him, and Jerry Vale. We've got a little bit on that. And right now, I've got to put this plug in. There's my new album. It's called <laughs> Knock Us Up 76. <laughs>